Hello everybody, and today I want to teach you about zero ticks. So, um, there have been some, like, explanation videos about zero ticks, but I just want to kind of add on to them, and maybe make it a bit more understandable sometimes. So, anyway, this is the first zero tick generator you probably know of, and it basically, well, let me show you how it works, and I'll show you why it's useful to have zero ticks, and then I'll show you why this works. But anyway, as you can see, that piston gets zero ticked, even though you know the repeater and comparator technically have the same delay, um, and it's nothing to do with the button being there, I can move the button back here as well. Um, we can just do that, and still the exact same thing. So if I slow the tick uh, right down a bit, so let's make it 5, and I'm just going to turn on sleuth client animation so that it's a bit, uh, looks a bit nicer, but anyway, as you can see, um, If I even slow it down a bit more, so let's make it 2, and uh, if I just put the block back there, because it's useful when the block is directly in front of the piston, and this has to be a sticky piston for a reason that I'll show later, but anyway, if I just turn this on, as you can see, the piston immediately pushed the block there. So. If I just um, set the tick rate back to normal, so the piston, uh, the sticky piston, immediately pushed out the block. Now let me show you if this is a normal piston, and if I reduce the tick rate down again, then it takes a while for the block to move, and three game ticks in fact. So the reason for that is because it's a normal piston and not a sticky piston. And I haven't actually checked, like, I, I can check in the code, like, some other time, but I'm pretty sure it has something to do with a piston, like, checking for uh, retracting stuff. So, I don't know. I'm not an expert on that. Like, I can read the code, but I'm not expert at reading the code. But anyway, uh, if it's a sticky piston, it immediately moves the block to the position, but it only works with a block directly in front of it. So if I move that... If I do that, and if I can click the button, as you can see, it looks like this block directly in front of the piston got pushed into that other block, and the other block moved at a normal speed after that. But anyway, yeah, that's pretty much why tick, uh, zero ticks are so important, because sticky pistons can instantly move blocks uh, when zero ticked. There's also some other reasons, but they're a bit more technical, so uh, I'll start with that. But basically, um, how this works is in the code, repeaters have a priority over comparators. So repeaters get checked in, in the rest and tile tick phase. Uh, the repeaters get checked and then comparators. And it would also work with an observer. As you can see, it also works with an observer, um, but yeah because observers and comparators they're executed after repeaters in the code so that's why even though these technically have the same delay um, that's why that works and that's the principle of most zero tick pulse generators to power something and then instantly depower it in the same tick so you might know this game runs on 20 ticks per second so if you can immediately give the um, piston or whatever a, a pulse and then remove the pulse, or remove the redstone power source immediately in the same tick. It just happens a bit later in the code, but in the game it's technically in the same tick. The piston still gets um, an update and it will try to extend, but then it realizes it's not longer powered and it instantly starts retracting. So it extends and retracts in the same tick. Now let me show you it won't actually work uh, with two repeaters, uh, it might work in certain directions and in certain locations, but as you can see, in this case, it doesn't work. And especially if we switch this around, this would never work, because again, comparators are always executed after. That means that this piston will always um, push the block out of the way before this comparator can send it uh, some power. So. What happens here is this redstone dust turns on. The redstone dust turns on like um, the update order is a bit messy with the redstone. But anyway, 
the repeater powers this block, which powers the dot, which powers the piston. Then in the same tick, but later, this comparator powers this piston, which moves this block out of the way. The repeater can't conduct, uh, uh, well, error can't conduct redstone, or block 36 can't. Therefore, this uh, dot unpowers and depowers this piston, which realizes, hey, I'm not powered, uh, I'm gonna start instantly retracting. So, yeah. And that's pretty clear the principle, you just want to power something and then depower it in the same tick. So let me show you another example. Okay, so this is a pretty common one. I just have a monostable circuit going into this. This monostable circuit um, creates a two game, uh, four game tick pulse, uh, two redstone ticks. Um, it's just that it doesn't power twice because otherwise if I just had a button here, like this you can see it powers twice. So. I just wanted to power once because the button pulse is actually too long. So anyway, um, what really matters is that this uh, repeater powers this gravel, which Bud powers this sticky piston, but it doesn't know it yet. And then it Bud powers, I mean, it powers this redstone dust, which then, which then Bud powers this uh, piston with quasi connectivity. Um, but this piston, it does get an update because the redstone dust updates um, two blocks away from it. This piston updates this sticky piston so that it realizes it's being powered from this gravel block here. And then it starts extending. But then as it extends, this gravel block gets moved out of the way. And it realizes, oh wait, I shouldn't be powered. And it depowers. I'm pretty sure this might work even with a normal piston as well. Yeah, for some reason, um, the normal piston gives two pulses, gets two pulses. As you can see, it pulses twice, uh, but with the sticky piston, it only pulses once. So um, that's interesting, but doesn't really matter. And then this um, pulse that you get out of here from this redstone dust, it is a zero tick pulse. Okay, actually, it is a zero tick pulse, my bad. Okay, for some reason, uh, the animation in tick rate 20 didn't look like a zero tick pulse. But it is a zero tick pulse, so um, I just tested it using a lower tick rate so that you can see that. It does extend and retract in the same tick. Now I want to look at another use for this, and this is actually smart pistons. So this is a normal smart piston. As you can see, uh, when I place a block here, this redstone dust will be powered through the block, and then it will power this block, which will power the piston. Now the thing is that the piston actually doesn't, because this is a zero tick pulse technically. But the interesting part is that the piston, uh, since it depowers in the same tick and nothing updates the piston, then this piston actually doesn't realize that it's unpowered until it fully extends. So. Um, you can test it using a sticky piss, and you can see that it actually doesn't do the um, the spitting out the block. And the reason is that because it doesn't get updated, then it doesn't realize it shouldn't be powered, and it continues extending, and it doesn't uh, retract in the same tick. Now you can actually make these faster by doing this. Uh, this is a bit of a a different uh, setup, but let me actually show you one that that a lot of you people used before, it was this. So, as you can see, this is a zero tick. Um, you can test this out with a sticky piston. See, it spits out the block. And the reason is that we send this redstone dust up here. We don't power this block, because then it would power the sticky piston first. Um, but what we essentially want to do is power this piston. Uh, we'll power both pistons at once, but make this piston update this one so that we can ensure that this piston updates first. Then when it gets depowered, this piston will depower, which updates this sticky piston. So they both power and depower in the same tick. And how we do that is we run the redstone dust up here, which powers this block, which uh, quasi-connectivity powers this um, sticky piston here. But it also normal powers this normal piston. So this piston will actually update this sticky piston to um, turn on because if you can see yeah like when you place the block there then it starts pulsing that's because this piston doesn't update it on the off pulse 
because what happens first is obviously it gets powered, and then the piston, the sticky piston realizes that, but then when it gets depowered, because this is a zero tick, as I mentioned before, this is a zero tick, uh, you may not be able to see that like that, but yeah, you can see that it's definitely a zero tick, because the sticky piston is dropping its block there. But this piston, uh, sticky piston, normal piston, whatever, it doesn't realize that because it doesn't get an update when it depowers, when this redstone does depowers. Therefore, we need to update it externally by means of this normal piston here. It could be also a sticky piston, doesn't really matter. Um, but once it realizes that, oh no, I shouldn't be powered, then it's like, yeah, okay, let's start retracting. And then it retracts in the same tick. And that's what causes the spitting out of the block. Now what's useful is that because uh, normally, if I just put a normal piston here and we just do the we just do this, you can see that um, it's actually pretty slow. So it's very slow and it's because the piston uh, takes six game ticks to extend and then retract. Now if we were to do it like how we did it, uh, like this, and then running it up here, and then just doing some of that and that, then then we can actually, um, it, it basically as fast as the player can place it, which is four game ticks, um, but technically I'm pretty sure you could also make it do three game ticks. Um, so the player can place a block every four game ticks, and it takes uh, three game ticks for this to extend and then retract. So that's perfect um, because we have time to place every single block that we can place. And obviously with a macro you can place quicker, but it doesn't really matter to be honest. Um, this is all we want. So now let me show you why this version works. With um, just powering it like we would the normal smart piston, but then we put some more pistons up here. And why does this work? Well, remember the issue, we wanted to power and then send an update when it depowers. Now you can see this is a um, zero tick pulse. If I just do that with a normal piston, if I just do that, um, okay, that doesn't update, but okay, you can see that was a zero tick pulse because the sticky piston spit it out. Um, let me show you some. I'll show you later some other tricks uh, for how to see if it's zero tick pulse. But basically, since um, these pistons, uh, since there's two of them, we're pretty much guaranteed that one of them updates before this sticky piston. Because technically, this redstone dust is powering all of them, right? So it's powering all of them through this block. Now, in the code, we're not sure how uh, which one will power first because it's locational. It could be it could be this one is powered first, uh, could that one be, could be that one. Now, with these three, we're guaranteed that one of these two, uh, either this one or this one, is powered first. So, you could also make an update on one on the back, but that's actually not necessary because uh, we're pretty much guaranteed with these two that one of them will update before this sticky piston. And as you can see, in this case, it was that one, because this one didn't extend at all. But anyway, yeah, that's why that works. Now, this is something you may be familiar with. This is an instant repeater design, um, shared first by Signy600MC. And this is an instant repeater, meaning it activates instantly, and it instantly uh, prolongs the signal. So basically, like, how, how a repeater works, but it's instant, so no delay, nothing like that. Now let me show you in a slower tick rate how this actually works. So let's see um, what actually happens before I slow down the tick rate down. So um, let's say this uh, redstone dust powers this block, right? What's going to happen? Well, this sticky piston uh, gets updated and starts moving this redstone block. Now this redstone block, since it's moving, it updates this head of the piston because this piston is bug powered by the redstone block so uh, it's powered by quasi connectivity but if we remove it and give an update to the sticky piston then it will realize okay let's depower now so when this block starts moving it turns into block 36 
which updates this piston head uh, because it it no longer exists here. And this uh, piston realizes, oh wait, this block is moving. Uh, block 36 doesn't power anything, so why don't I just depower? And then it depowers. And when it depowers, it actually pulls this block back. And since it pulls it back, it no longer powers the sticky piston. So keep in mind, this is all happening in the very same tick. Okay, so in one tick, all of this stuff is happening. So since it's not powered anymore, the sticky piston, it's like, okay, let me start retracting now, but it's still extending. So it instantly finishes extending and starts retracting. So what that does is, since this is actually a zero tick pulse, it's given to this piston, and then it pretty much just teleports this block over here. Because remember how the sticky piston instantly um, moves the block that's right in front of it? Well, it instantly moves this redstone block here, which turns on this redstone and then the sticky piston extends back out here again this piston extends so let me show you in a lower tick rate so you can see um that these two pistons they got if i even make the tick rate a bit slower uh, let's make it one then you see that block got teleported there now the piston uh realizes it's powered again extends again this piston is powered again and it extends now when it depowers, um, pretty much pretty much what happens is this piston depowers, which updates um, that piston since the bulk is moving, it doesn't get powered. This piston uh, also retracts, which depowers this again, uh, but it's already depowered so it doesn't make a difference. And then once the block finishes moving over here, then it realizes, okay, now I'm powered again, and yeah. So that's how this instant repeater works. And that's why it's so genius, because it actually creates a zero tick pulse by itself. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to leave a like, and make sure to subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this, because we come up with uh, redstone videos every, every Wednesday, and um, survival videos every Sunday. So, um, yeah. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.